let's rip a headline from the web you might have missed. This is what I'm liking. We are deep into the holiday season of an insanely upside down year. And as Main Street works to recover from the financial downturn, we want to support mom and pop shops the best we can. So this week we are shining a spotlight on businesses getting creative to survive and thrive. One of those businesses is Bazaar the Coffee Bar in downtown Birmingham. They open their doors, get this, just a few months before the pandemic. Not exactly the best time to get a place up and running. Bummer timing. But they've made the most of it and shifted their model in a way that's not only helping them succeed, but also bringing the community together. So let's get the owner of Bazaar on the line. Will, are you there? Hey, Kelly. Hi, Will. How are you? I am so good. I, I got to be honest, though, man, I heard about your story and I was like, that is the worst luck in the world to open yeah. up, like, maybe a dream thing for you. You know, and you, you're excited about Bizarre the Coffee Bar, you're excited about this whole venture, and then a pandemic hits. I mean, that had to really be devastating, right? Well, it put us in a position where we could either sink or swim, and we didn't give up. So, I mean, I think when it hit, I spent about a day just thinking and praying, okay, are we gonna close, or are we gonna stay open? And I decided to stay open. Like, we've literally not closed one day since we've opened. Through the COVID, through the shutdowns, through everything, we've been open every single day. Wow, that is incredible, and prayer works, doesn't it? Okay, you're working with your neighborhood, right? Yes. So, um, what we've done is when we realized that we didn't have the same foot traffic because all the businesses downtown were closed, we realized, okay, we've got to do something to bring in traffic. So, I teamed up with a lot of smaller businesses that don't have brick and mortar, and we started offering their products out of our store. So, what it did was it bought their clientele to our space where otherwise they couldn't get the, the products that they could get because it's COVID season. And it's been beneficial for everybody. You got My Sweetheart Bakery, which is some of the most phenomenal cake you've ever had in your life. You've got Executive Art, which is a, art, a black owned art company mm -hmm. that makes some phenomenal pictures. Then we've got a black owned coffee brand called Banali. It's a Kenyan Arabica and, a, and an African Saddam. And it's amazing. Uh, we've got a shea, a shea butter line and just whatever else that we can think of that can put small entrepreneurs in a place where we can all benefit, we do it. Yeah, where everyone can win. I mean, you're following the advice you just, you just said. Like, it's, you know, you're going to go farther if you do it together. And that's such a beautiful thing that not only you're helping your business thrive, but you're also helping other businesses thrive. And that's why you're going to do really great, man. you got a great heart. Um, thank you so much, Will, for sharing your story with us. I'm liking your post right now, all right? Thank you, ma'am. All right, well, don't go anywhere. There is more. We've actually partnered up with Pilot Pen, the go-to pen of the Kelly Clarkson Show, and they want to highlight great people doing great things. So they're going to give you $1,000. Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, $1,000. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Will. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much. All right, bye.